Welcome to another episode of Awesome Finds. I am stoked to bring you this next batch of records I picked up from a friend of mine who let me get first crack at a collection that used to belong to a radio DJ out of Nashville, Tennessee. And my friend gave me a really good deal and I was happy to help out my buddy. First up, I got the best of Otis Redding. Now this is a two disc set, comes in a gatefold. Not too much going on here. Just a little tribute to the man. Came out in 1972. And of course it closes with one of my favorite songs, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. Then I picked up The Doors Morrison Hotel. I, I bought this knowing I already had this album, but I was hoping to replace it with this one, which is in much better shape. But as I found out, this is actually a later reissue. I also picked up Def Leppard's Pyromania. Now I don't have any Def Leppard, so I was stoked to pick this up. Haven't heard it yet, eager to get into this. Then I got Van Halen's Van Halen 2 from 1979. Growing up, I didn't really listen to Van Halen. It just didn't speak to me. I think I was a little too young to get into it, but I always loved Jump. And I used to confuse that with Born in the USA, because it's got a similar beginning. Ah, could just be me though. I also picked up Iron Butterfly in Agata De Vida. Now I used to love to play this song on guitar and it's such a cool cover, stoked to have it. Maybe I'll cover it, let me know. I also picked up Hugo Winterland Goes Latin because I just love these cheesecake covers. It's on Living Stereo, which I love this label. I love the graphic design and it's in really good shape. It even comes with the original paper sleeve which I thought was so cool. I also picked up from 1972, Steppenwolf, Born to be Wild. The only bummer about it is that it does have a hole punch. For collectability, this is not what you wanna get. You wanna get um, one that was bought before they had to sell it back. So they probably over manufactured this. We covered that actually in an episode. Professor Watson can tell you all about it. Born to be Wild, I love that song. I rode my bike a lot in college and I used to sing that as I rode my bicycle, not my motorbike. I, I didn't ride a motorcycle, I rode my bicycle and I sang Born to be Wild. It made me feel real tough. Lastly guys, I was stoked to find this one in here. It's a Rolling Stones Through the Past Darkly. Now this is totally intentional. It was meant to be cut out as a hexagon. It's a gatefold cover. Just so cool. Even the original paper sleeve was cut out. Now I took that out and put my own sleeve in there. If you didn't know this was a greatest hits album, you think it was just a really good album by them. I love a lot of these songs on here and it's just, it's just such a cool piece to have. I mean, way to go Rolling Stones to make a greatest hits album actually interesting. Well, that'll do it for today. Thanks again for watching. I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.